I need to visit a shop soon, though. I gotta sell some stuff. Is there one here? Yeah. I think that's all. Okay. Let's see. Interesting. This actually explains quite a lot of what's happened and what's to come. Mm -hmm. You can't see the big picture, huh? Not surprising. Long story short, Prince Sogan tried to perform this ritual 30 years ago, but didn't have everything to make it worth running. The original Emperor successfully performed the Divine Mandate over a thousand years ago. As such, his family line all has Divine Blood. And the Princess Solon was sacrificed by her brother. Oh, it doesn't determine who's Emperor. It literally makes you the Emperor by Divine Right. Got it. Prince Sogan had plenty of soul stones too, but I'm guessing he didn't have a vessel. The Twilight's Edge is the dimensional anchor, and he obviously didn't have that either. So you wrote Prince Sogan. Jin Sayan's lackey? I get the feeling she's got more to do with this than we realize. She must have been the one to feed into Sogan's lust for power and help drive him to check the ritual. Without all the proper components to focus the ritual's power, the demons of the Dark Realm latched onto the connection and used it to open a dark gate. A path between this world and the Dark Realm. The Dark Realm. Normally a vessel would be possessed by divine energy. But with the path linked to the Dark Realm instead, the vessel would become the host for the Dark Lord, which would essentially mean the end of the world. But the ritual failed. Too big of an oversight to be a mistake, if you ask me. Was Yura not trying to summon the Dark Lord? Somehow I think what happened in Highland Central was just part of some bigger scheme. I don't like this at all. Go find Ixenin and let him know what we've learned. Okay. Uh, see you, see you, palace. Machinations and planning. here in the water mm -hmm. can we back up I'm supposed to get a wall run at some point but I still don't have it wait how do I get out of here uh, do we gotta go the long way around I guess so Let me up. Guess I need to wait for my stamina to regenerate a bit first. There we go.
<laughs> wow, damn, cool. I can sense a demon from a mile away. That underling of Jinsoyun is on our trail. You're as a demon? You couldn't tell? You still got a long way to go. It seems she's been tracking us for some reason. I hoped I could use all the dark energy here to obscure my presence. To put it shortly, this used to be Prince Sogon's palace. But when the other masters and I fought here 30 years ago, we sealed all the dark energy into this building to contain it. This is the source of the demonic hordes. They can only escape in small numbers, so the Snapjaw are able to fight them off as they come. It's not ideal, but it works. Sort of. I wonder if that demon woman is trying to break the seal here. I suppose we'll find out one way or another. She's already arrived. Oh. Oh wow. You're badass. But okay. Alright, demon, what are you after? Ah, excellent. Hope you're not tired from all that running away. Let's play, old man. I've slain hundreds of demons worse than you. Mm hmm. Of course you have. Oh, I doubt it. There's nothing quite like me. Oh my. Ganging up on me? How pathetic. Ah. That was fun. Enough playtime. Everything should be ready now. You better come to Brightstone if you want to save your son. What in the world is she babbling about? Oh yeah, he has a s Wait, does he have a son? I don't remember. Oh, that happened. It sounds like Jin Soyeon set a trap with your son as bait. She's really got it in for you, doesn't she? Uh, I don't... I don't have a son. Priya's just talking about you. Nonsense! I don't have any children. As a guardian, I abstain from relationships. No romances, no students, nothing! Kuwin? I don't remember who that is, though. How do you know about Kuwin? I admit we were sort of an item. But she would have told me if she'd had a child, wouldn't she? His name is Il Sim. Ilsim? Didn't he want to kill me? He must blame me for what happened in Brightstone Village. Huh, this is awful. It's dangerous for us to form attachments in life. Our enemies can exploit them. It happened to Hong and Jiwon, and now it's happened to me. Kuwin must have hidden the truth for that reason. If I'd only known she was with child, I could have been there for them. But now Jin Soyun has my son. If that demon is to be believed. If I die, it will leave the world in peril. But how can I just leave Ilsim to his fate? I never had the chance to be a father to him, and now he's going to die because of me. This may all be some ploy to throw us off balance. You report to the Snapjaw Sages. I need to go investigate this on my own. I'll catch up with you later once I have some answers. I need yes, to have some there's a pretty good chance that this dude is gonna die too, because that's how Blade and so please. Thanks to you, we've dealt a major blow to the Dark Forces here. As agreed, we will help you. The Snap Trap will aid the Alliance. Alright, we finally got someone else to join. Hammerjaw is stubborn and isn't ready to admit how helpful you have been, but he's loyal. He'll be there when you need him most. We Snap Trap never break a promise. Speaking of which, I believe we also agreed to grant you our life force, didn't we? We cannot afford to give you all of our power, but half from each of us should suffice. Please, use it wisely, and save this world from the darkness. Show your respect. Alright. I forgot how cute that was. <laughs> isn't as strong as he once was, and Mushin is nowhere to be found. You better not screw this up. Mm -hmm. For now, go to Monkey Stone and speak with King Ogon. He's the last sacred beast you need to gain the life force from. I think you skipped the line there, my friend. For now, 
Go to Monkey Stone and get it. With King of now get going already. Okay. So we're actually just one more away from getting all the members that we need for our alliance. Okay. That means we're getting pretty we're getting decently close to the end of uh, this chap this arc. Which I remember I, I was decently far into this arc when I before I stopped. Wow. Why does every place we go to look like shit? I guess because of the spiders. But still. Do I know you? I vaguely recognize this guy. What? Who are you? Friend of the resistance. A friend of the resistance? How can I believe you? I bet the Skyhaven badge. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant no disrespect. How could you kill your own people? It's not what it looks like. These people may be dressed like revolutionaries, but they're really Talus spies. If they hadn't given themselves away, I would be dead right now. As agreed upon with the Simu, we stopped here to disarm ourselves before entering Simu territory. That was when the traitors let their true intent slip. Mm -hmm. My surviving associates have gone to send word of what happened to Do Yuhan, the Skyhaven's second in command. Despite our tragic losses here, we're lucky the Talus were stopped before they could undermine the Alliance. Doyahan is stationed at a nearby camp, though he... no, oh, here he comes now. Please show respect to the second in command. Will do. Look at him running over here. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh boy. Who is this person? I'm just a very angry Lin with a very sharp knife. Don't worry about it. Look at my ears. And my tail. The Skyhaven badge? Where did you run into the commander? She's been missing for days. I didn't get this from the leader. What are you talking about? Where else would you have gotten it? We don't go around handing badges out to everyone who wants one. Shinhai, is she a red guard? I suppose it's possible, but someone would have heard by now if the leader were slain. Tell me, what do you gain by helping the Skyhaven? On the meet of the Sacred Beasts. An audience with the Sacred Beasts? I see. That Red Guard you mentioned, where did they go after giving you the badge? Why do you ask? Ah, well, no matter. I suppose it's best not to discuss it out in the open, what with all the Talus spies around. What's important is you're on our side. Yes, yes. You should get going. I understand why you were chosen. The Ape King respects warriors. Though he does not care much for other civilized folk. Well, say no more. Ugum and I have our own duties to conduct. First and foremost, rooting out Talus spies. I trust you'll be discreet. A spy in the wind helps our cause little. We leave the Alliance in your capable hands. Do let us know how you fare. Well, best of luck. Use that badge responsibly, Gian. Don't actually know whether to trust him yet or not. Oh, we'll see. Oh, new hub town. Of sorts. Last trouble point here. Activated. All of Ukong. 
Ah, yeah. It does make sense. I think I've been here before. On a... On a raid of sorts. Probably. Oh, here we are. I love how the character just ends up spinning when you run into the wall in the loading zone. Yeah, I've definitely been here before. You're gonna make me look bad. I'm killing you guys in front of your boss. Back off. Oh, you're finally here. I suppose the school of Hong Moon didn't put much emphasis on punctuality. In any case, how dare you? Hogong is being unreasonable. But he did seem to know that you are a pupil of Master Hall. You try talking to him. Just humor the big furball. Okay, okay. What do you sound like? Different from other warriors. More than smell. You are a student of Earthbreaker. Hong Shokun, one of few human warriors of which Ogong approved. Well, Marker said you want Ogong's key? Needed to stop my master's murderer. Ogong understand your motives, but Ogong cannot simply surrender centuries of strength conditioning and self-improvement. Ogong must judge if you worthy of this boon. Ogong sees Sokun as a good teacher, as warrior. Come, we fight now. Okay. Ogong, no pushover. Let us duel. Got a stun on you. Air combo. Marvel! And then we pick him up. No, we cannot pick him up. Ah! Ow. Knock him out all the way. He'll probably stop off for a bit. Yeah, he had enough. You know what? It's kind of cute. I'll take it. Ogon find a battle invigorating. Ogon thanks Earth Butler for frightening Ogon Day. Ogon feel your fighting style have a kind of sincerity and noble intent that you know have since the years. Ogon say this philosophy permeates your being. Earth Butler, student of honorable Earthbreaker. Today you earn Ogon respect. Ogon will share his life force without reservation. And that was pretty quick and easy. Alliance with Skyhaven. Ogong can make no such commitments at present time. Ogong has heard of internal strife against Skyhaven. Ogong say how can trust Skyhaven when Skyhaven no trust Skyhaven? His moral quandary. That is fair. However, Ogong will give matter greater consideration. Ogong say will give Earth Bumper his assessment at later date. Now, Earth Bumper, please take good care of Ogong Chi. Ogong did not acquire easily. All right. Uh, let us press F to pay our respects. Thank you for the energy. You got 
wrong to give up some of his chi, the strongest of the secret beasts. That's everyone in Moonwater. Hooray. The bounty of centuries of study and martial arts training now courses through you. It should be enough. So, we, we good to fight the final boss yet? Well, there is within you enough refined chi to purge the mark of the Black Rose. But I can't begin to guess how much power Jin so Yun has gained since her resurrection. And you haven't exactly mastered the Hong Moon arts. <laughs> Worry not, my simple friend. Between the Skyhaven resistance, the combined might of the Moonwater tribes, and the two of us, how could Jin so Yun beat us? Worst case scenario is we all die of crippling agony. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I should return to Green Hollow and catch Shin high up on recent events. When you're finished here, come find me. Before you get carried away celebrating your newfound power, there's something you must understand. The sacred beast's chi exists within you, but it is not yet yours. Making it your own will involve a great deal of diligent training. Don't look so sad. We have to stop Jin Soyun. There's more at stake here than I ever believed. I have someone to protect. Well, that was actually pretty simple and quick, apparently. Oh, we have to head back to Green Hollow anyway. Huh. I stopped by there for a second just to take in the atmosphere. But it looks like we're going back there anyway. I wonder if we're getting towards the end of the of this uh, arc already. I kind of expected to be sent on another long quest chain just to get this guy's energy, but that was surprisingly quick. All right. Away to the Lin Village. Why those guys have wings? That was weird. Alright. Where is the house? This one? Yep. You have done well, warrior. I'm afraid we have never properly been introduced. I am Yun Mafei, leader of the Skyhaven Resistance. I apologize for misleading you, but the Dominion has spies everywhere. It is difficult to know whom to trust. Have you heard of Jin So Yun? I know her all too well. Jin So Yun. Or Lady Black Rose, as she is known in Zaiwei, has been shaping the events of this continent for years from the shadows. The Brightstone Massacre was the result of but one of her schemes. She has come to be a trusted advisor to the Talus Emperor. It is at her encouragement that he pursues the Divine Mandate Ritual. But I have discovered what kind of monster she truly is. Oh, he's doing it again. The Talus Dominion was formed as the result of a revolution within the Stratus Empire. The Emperor was never chosen for the throne. For all this time, one question weighed upon him. Would the heavens judge me worthy? By communing with the heavens themselves, the Emperor hopes to prove his legitimacy as ruler of the lands. However, the pursuit of this has resulted in the exploitation of his subjects, namely the ceaseless search for soul stones. Well, take a, take a breath there, lady. I fear that the very course he has taken to prepare for the divine mandate ritual will make him unworthy of the heaven's blessing. Jin Soyan desires the ritual be held for her own dark purposes. The only way to save the Dominion lies in stopping her. Ixanyun has developed a plan to do just that, but I'll let him explain the details. Mm -hmm. Who could have known the real reason Jin Soyun wanted Twilight's Edge? Not merely for revenge, but for the divine mandate ritual. Her hatred knows no bounds. 
You remember your time in the Highland Necropolis, yes? That's what happens when the mandate fails, when the Celestial Gate swings open to the Dark Realm. Back then, the forces conspiring to bring the Dark Lord into our world were bested but Jin Soyeon. She could actually do it. She could be responsible for destroying the world as we know it. She must be stopped. Yeah. We can not simply so. waltz up to Zaiwei's gates while the Talus army is at Jin Soyeon's command. I'm afraid there will be a great deal of bloodshed before our work is done. We can't simply waltz up to Zaiwei's gates while the Talus army is at Jin Soyeon's command. We've heard that line already. I'm afraid I'll travel to the Sky Gate outside of Brightstone Village and open the Great Dragon Pulse. With it, we will be able to summon reinforcements directly from Skyhaven Bastion. <laughs> you really know nothing about the world you live in. Dragon Pulses or Dragon Veins are the corridors of energy that weave throughout the Earth and Realm. The Great Dragon Pulse is the largest of these corridors, capable of transporting large forces anywhere across the realm. Only one Great Dragon Pulse can be open at a time, meaning that if we command the Sky Gate, we can deliver troops directly to the heart of the Talus capital without fear of retribution. Hmm. Wow, we're really just we're storming the capital already? We're just storming the capital right away, alright. Going to Sky even best. Dang, that art is pretty. Loading screen art has gotten a lot prettier since the last time I was playing.